How's it going everybody? Chris with Firebot. Today we're gonna to go over how to assemble your Firebot and the first steps you wanna take. First step is to put together your nozzle bar assembly. Remove the nozzle bar from the foam packaging. Set the two push pins aside. If you do have a kink toes, don't worry about it. It will expand as you expand the rest of the Y bar assembly. Take the nozzle bar, hold the tubes at the bottom and gently push the tubes up. Take the push rivets and insert them in the hole. You should hear a small click. Your nozzle bar is now ready to be installed. Remove the rest of the firebot from the packaging. Set the box aside. Your wall mount is gonna be on the back side of the housing. It should come off. Set that aside. Next, remove the five screws at the top of the housing. Pull the lid up vertically and set that aside. Your nozzle assembly is now ready to be installed. Ensure the cutout is facing you along with the blue thermal sensors. Insert the rectangle into the rectangular slot in the housing. Insert until you cover up the line. Now take the Y connector and insert it on the tube on the pump. Push it on until it's flush with the other push to connect. Tuck the wires in neatly. You're now ready to reinstall the lid. The front lip on the lid needs to tuck into the inside of the housing. The front of the housing will be flush. Reinsert the five screws at the top of the housing. Your Firebot is now complete. Do one final check. Make sure your nozzles are pointed towards the bottom part of the housing. On both sides, you can see the blue beads on either side of the nozzle. You're now ready to move on to the next step. Now that your Firebot's assembled, let's take a look at the tools that you're gonna to need to install this. First, we have a pencil, a tape measure, and a Phillips screwdriver. Let's take the pencil and the tape measure, mark an inch and a half below your microwave or range hood on both the left and right side. This is where the top edge of your mounting plate is gonna line up with. Next, take your wall mount. This is gonna tell you which side goes against the wall and which side faces out, as well as which direction is up. Take the wall mount and align the top edge with the marks that you made an inch and a half below the microwave. Make sure the wall mount is centered and you're now ready to install the drywall screws. Now you're gonna use your drywall screws and washers and install those in the outside holes as well as the center. Start with the center. Take your drywall screw and washer. Screw the screw into the wall. Tighten the screw till it's snug. Do not over tighten. Now that your center screws in, double check to make sure that your mount is level. Next, you're gonna take your completed Firebot unit and install it on the mount. Take the back top edge of the housing, rest it on the top edge of the mount, make sure the unit is flush against the wall, gently press upward, and you'll hear a click on both sides of the housing. This completes your Firebot drywall mounting option. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out.